Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Rabenschild and the time between progress updates kind of gets longer because the progress takes longer and longer. They, they, they raise none, basically. So it's, it's a weird thing to yeah, kind of do the videos at the moment because it will just... I don't know. It it takes a lot of time to just place blocks, wait for everything to be welded up and then to do the same cycle again. I'm in the meantime, I'm harvesting uh, ice on the moon. If if these uh reavers finally go away, we don't know, we might take a look at this, but the flight over there takes a bit and it is just it's just an ice field that I'm emptying out. It's nothing that you, yeah, might not have seen already. So let us just uh, go up and I will show you the things I have done in the, in the meantime. Doors, they were already there. What I've done here is temporarily and don't know, maybe for the future, for the other side too, I will keep this. I've brought in a field here so that uh, even with an open door, we definitely have uh, these two areas yeah, kind of uh, cut off of each other. It, it makes a bit more sense because the, the air, the the events struggle anyways to fill large rooms because they can't really see, okay, this is the end of the room and all that stuff. So I want to kind of keep the rooms that I have kind of smallish uh, so that I can have air filled rooms in the end. And the, the hangar, it would be nice to be able to fill that thing with air. Uh, and maybe it is possible once I uh, cut down some of the some of the lengths lengths, and if I wouldn't get holes everywhere, the the yeah the built and repair system or whatever is still cutting holes into my into my hull um, that needs to stop at one point. I. Um, I later want to bring in a built-in repair system for the hangar that maybe is able to just uh, be turned on and is very constricted to a certain space so that I can build in there. But I want to turn all the other ones off. The built-in repair doesn't seem to play well with builds this size. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure why. But yeah, it, it, that might be the case. Um, see that I'm, or you can see that I'm starting to finish the walls. Problems are still the tops and uh, these need to be filled in. But the thing is that I'm, again, I'm, the, the, big, the big cycle is for me to uh, repair stuff uh, bring in new materials, process them, then have my my assemblers. I even have auto assemblers now for that, that just produce all the time, produce steel plates, um, that they bring in the steel plates, it gets welded up. I also order uh, steel plates from the rest of the system. I order metal grids from the rest of the system and it still takes time. Making this thing out of heavy armor was maybe not the best decision, but it is done now and so we will continue with that. I have brought in, again to make the room smaller, another uh, kind of airlock here. I also put in the the rotary airlocks because <laughs> these gates are slow. I don't want to wait for them all the time. These are faster. I can get through there. And I've brought in some gates up here. There will be a deck here. 
Um, there will be a deck down here. This will hold the hyperdrives. And then somewhere a staircase to get up to the to the next deck, to the top deck. This will be then the deck for, I don't know, cabins whatsoever. This will be open, hopefully, with its own with its own rooms behind that are above the hangar and there will be then don't know bridge all that stuff and it will be a relatively short section to somewhere here uh with maybe some windows some glass stuff like that we will see how that works out in the end the i'm closing off the bottom here and I have an airlock that leads into the lower sections down here. There will be some walkways at one point. This is just then where cargo is stored and where the refineries are and all that stuff. It, it needs a bit of modeling too in the end. But the main thing is now to get the kind of the, the aspects that People are supposed to walk in ready and this is basically just an aspect that yeah will be here but shouldn't be explored too much let's say that way um i found or i started to fill this part up with batteries and it will be a bit thicker so there will be another layer on this side another layer on this side and i want to surround that with brackets so that it in the end it might look like a radiator and i might try my hand at painting this in a way where it looks like a radiator that uh, that radiates so starships need radiators to get rid of excess heat uh one one starship of this size would need a massive radiator this is this is way too small but i kind of want to have uh yeah at least the idea of having that thing radi radiate heat so that the crew at the ship doesn't cook itself these are still not uh yeah modeled in any way they will come at the end very much <laughs> it's it's a huge task the again these these are mainly updates and i don't want to give you too many updates with not holding nothing basically because again it's it's so weird i i can't spend all the time to play space engineers and i'm yeah i'm i'm looking forward to at one point do something else i might i don't know i i might not even i might start to not even number these so that they don't fall into the complete category category of of my series i'm that's maybe an idea i'm i'm thinking about so that that these count don't count towards the 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 whole number <laughs> otherwise i could just make every day a short update video and say here <laughs> i've placed some more blocks um yeah i will we we might I might go and work a lot more on the drive systems and then we just uh, move the ship out to somewhere else or so um, arm it up so that it can defend itself oh defend itself defend itself uh, good thing uh, I don't know if you can see it it's easier seen when I fly through it so the shield it works now again there were, were some some people that try to help with yeah what what could be the problem why does the duchessa get hit uh so hard by by the reavers and 
why doesn't the shield work? So, by the way, Duchessa uh, is repaired. Uh, the having having a projector in there somewhere is is a good thing. It it just helps with yeah getting this this thing up and running. Are these what is the problem with these blocks? Let me turn off the projector. Maybe it's the color. Um. So the problem with the shield. People assumed that I have the yeah it's the color that i have the the option on where entities can fly through the shield i didn't what i did was and we can take a look at this down here the shields are positioned down here so what i did i don't know which one of these it is it is this one. So, there's an option. Enhance structural integrity. If you turn that on, the ship is uh, protected from collisions, as it stands there. Prevents damage from pro uh, collisions. That's a good thing. But, the problem is it turns off the shields. So, you can have a ship that is protected from collisions, but then it will not have shields. And again, that turns, yeah, that turns off the shields and also doesn't integrate the Duchessa into its uh, protected. The Duchessa would have to have that option turned on too, but it doesn't. The Duchessa has uh, shields and the shields are turned off once it is docked to something. And so this now is turned on shields work again Duchessa is safe now <sighs> it was not not a long search but i thought that this is just an extra option that doesn't turn off the shields mm, it does so now we are good shields are back on i also reduced the range of the phasers again to have the same range as these uh, gladius gladius lasers they have two and a half kilometers range phases have the same range now so now the good thing is that most of the reavers fly by because they get to around three two thousand nine hundred meters or something like that and then they they most of the time pass just by uh the 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 cool thing is i'm starting i'm starting to be able to really close this off i want to have some uh some kind of drive section down here so there will be thrusters down here i want to put in some large iron thrusters so that i even have a vanilla way to accelerate but mainly uh, slow down the ship and i also need to place a lot of gyros because now with the weight the few gyros that we have don't don't do anything anymore <laughs> so that is that is where we stand right now ugh Ugh, a lot of work. So, <laughs> I'm complaining again. It's just the thing that that kind of big ships do. They, I, I like to build them, but they are just a lot of work. And I'm, I'm not sure if building these kinds of ships in vanilla is a good thing even with built and repair systems uh because it just yeah again it it takes all the time and if i just have i don't know a few hours to play space engineers and uh then i'm again i run into the problem that i have right now i need to expand 
my production abilities even more the the few the few assemblers and refineries that i have down there and the refineries are not the biggest problem Energy. because i ugh, ugh. seed The biggest problem still are the assemblers. I have a lot of them now, but they are just not enough. So let us maybe take a look and just expand the... the I, for one, I still have a lot of space for them. I can bring in... No, why? Yeah, chairs are slow. So, go down here. And then... Away. Two. Uh, conveyor junction here. One, two. Conveyor junction and then... Je. Assemblers. I had some... I don't know. I will maybe use the community post feature again at one point to find out what we should do after number 1000. Uh, I feel that maybe maybe starting a new season and this time really a new season could be a good idea um the i'm i'm getting new people in and the new viewers most of the time really struggle with the amount of episodes and that it is just not structured in any way as much as i like it because again that's how i wanted to do it that i just i just have it running and people can can follow me from the point on that they start to watch or something like that uh, it it doesn't work that way anymore i need to think about this uh it is yeah for especially for newer people joining in a lot harder to just follow and get a grasp where to start because now this world started uh over 300 episodes ago and even that is just too crazy um as much as i again like the structure and again other people do it too that they just have it running but i should find find a neater structure if we in the in the future continue with this world and we just keep it i might just start season two in in this world and then give give the people a point where where it is easier to start the the point for my world here is I don't know episode 617 or something like that and that's just uh, yeah that is just a bit crazy good let us see I should have set them up earlier cooperative mode and cooperative mode and maybe can Ugh. okay now i need a panel or something like that okay the it must be these ones or
13 and 12. And maybe, if I am lucky, I might add two more just auto processors or auto assemblers. Why? And this, and this, and this. I have to see for Thursday <laughs> if there is still the plan to uh, not have a space engineer stream <laughs> and have a very, very different stream. We we talked about that in the last stream that that we cut really really short and. Uh, because because of Mars landing uh, of uh, NASA landing landing stuff on Mars uh, worked out pretty pretty nicely I have to say but um, endless I'm re I'm naming these yeah I'm naming these different so that I. Uh, you produce some steel plates, please. And you maybe too? Endless, just 16 endless. Okay. Good. So let's hope that this uh, furthers the the way I can produce materials. I, I I have to think about once I'm done to turn them off. Otherwise, I will end up with millions of <laughs> of steel plates in the end. There another a reaver slayer. See the the problem right now is to to go out with my with my miner. I have to constantly dodge reavers. It is it's a pain. It's a pain. Let's see how many C plates I have because seventy four. That's not a lot. Maybe there is some in store. Nope. That's that's the other thing. I, I I can't fill up my inventory with steel plates because I don't have them. They are constantly used up by the vast amounts of blocks that that need them. Uh, I always have to wait uh, to to have these steel plates. Then at the end. At, at, Kind of have to wait for for the blocks to be finished, then grab my steel plates, wait maybe a bit to get get more steel plates in. It's just this will never end. Uh, the I'm on the lookout for weapons for the ship and how to place them so what i definitely want to have is around the ship some uh, of the raven bolt weapons for these i need conveyors i have conveyors in or space for the conveyors in the walls of this hangar for example and i have the ability to connect them up if something isn't taken away this ability and now this works this should work in a second again and i have space on the top here to put down some weapons so i want to have more of the gladius lasers around for them i need a lot of power each of these needs to be 
if they want to be loaded or reloaded really fast i need a lot of power that's another issue i i'm bringing in gold silver and all that stuff to get the get the reactors online that i have and put more down the the power section of the ship will be crazy and i have to see see i'm also bringing still in i'm that's the constant cycle bring in uranium a lot of it because this ship might use a lot of uranium um it is sitting in some containers this one i need to definitely uh change that but i have see uh, a million kilos here two million kilos or something uh two million two yes no even more three <laughs> no no i have a, a a lot a lot of uranium uh that hopefully in the yield refinery that i have set up should give me enough uranium to last for a while i also want to have more uh solar panels around so that at least when the ship is standing still and the ship will mostly do that because it's just not made for don't know for crazy maneuvers i usually want to have spots in the in the system that i can jump to and then just stay there that ship has the capability to just be everywhere uh let me show you the hyperdrives have a range of yeah nearly four hundred thousand kilometers 370 thousand kilometers so i can jump everywhere where i want and from there i then can don't know build bases farm materials and maybe bring that back i need another uh transfer vehicle maybe set up some containers somewhere on the surface uh, i will maybe in the meantime or take one of the take one of the container transport builds that i have done and uh, maybe make that a bit nicer i have the around per ton now on the the base i think i have this uh this container ship with weapons maybe one of these just to be able to transfer cargo around i'm i want to be able to have this ship be able to supply all the bases and all the ships that i have um i have to store some of my ships later uh it's it's a weird thing but as support vehicles miners um cargo transports and all that stuff i don't want to have big ships anymore i will store my big miner the 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 krilla miner and the mining barge and all that stuff that i, I will store that at base but it i might mothball it i'm i'm not sure it's it's all in the plans and again this this will be i think the definitive base ship then in the end the the or the definitive mothership as much as i like the the big blue but when i built the big blue I was not prepared or something like that. We will we will see how that how that works out in the end. But the again, most of the big support ships will definitely be uh mothballed. This ship is powerful enough to and and uh, when it comes to jump range good enough to to lug around 
everything. And at the moment, as far as I see it right now, I have space for a lot of small support chips. That, that will be interesting. Good, but people, I think I end the episode for today because, again, it is now just more block placing, more and more and more block placing. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Good. Uh, people, I think that's all for today. Hope you like this again update. I'm not sure how we'll call it in the end. Uh, if you did, please leave a like on the video and I hope to see you in the next one. See ya guys.